Welcome to episode four of Upgrade My PC, please. If you missed any of the previous episodes of the video explaining what the series is all about, then be sure to check those out. I'll provide links in the video description. So on last week's episode, we had five Core i5 PCs that were all in need of various upgrades, and you, the viewers, voted Aki's Akatsuki the most worthy of receiving the proposed upgrades. Therefore, we now have our first New Zealand-based winner, and coming Aki's way, we have a brand new Core i5, 1400 CPU, a Gigabyte B350 motherboard, 8 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, and the Fractal Design Focus Mini G computer case. So congratulations to Aki, and the good news is the four runners up will be receiving a Rainbow Six Siege game code from Ubisoft. Big thanks to Ubisoft for supporting the series and providing our contestants with free games. Once installed, we'll have Aki send us some updated photos of the refurbished rig, and then we'll show them off to you guys as a special feature at the start of next season. Also, do not forget to vote each week as that will place you in the running to win some cool prizes and those are global giveaways. Last week we had Ed Samuels who won the Ryzen 5 1600 processor and the week before ET3D won a Seagate Barracuda 4TB hard drive. So congratulations to those guys as well. This week we have another cool prize and I'll announce that later in the video. For now we have five PCs all in need of various upgrades. So let's check them out. Samuel's a young guy who saved for over two years to build his system, or at least a version of the system you see here. In late 2014, he pieced it together, and back then it had a single 8GB memory stick, the Radeon R9 270 graphics card, and a 500GB hard drive which was being used as a boot drive. Since then, a few upgrades have been made, most notably of which is the GeForce GTX 1060, which Samuel saved up for for quite some time, but he pulled the trigger on it in late 2016. He also scored a free 8GB memory module from his mate. Very nice bonus there. The 500GB hard drive was also dumped for a larger 1TB model, and that holds all Samuel's games, and he's also made the move to a speedy SSD for the OS, so that's a nice upgrade there. Further upgrades though have been put on hold as Samuel's now saving to study abroad next year in Japan while he completes year 11. So the dream would be to take this gaming PC to the next level so he can enjoy that when he's not studying. Speaking of games, right now he's enjoying Subnautica, GTA 5 and Hearts of Iron 4, but also works with Photoshop and Premiere. Apparently the FX 6300 really takes its sweet time encoding videos. So Samuel's been dreaming of a Ryzen 5 1600 upgrade but hey, who isn't these days? So that being the case, I propose we go ahead with the Ryzen 5 1600 upgrade and throw that on a standard ATX ASRock AB350 Pro 4 motherboard, which will fill that Cougar MX300 case out a bit better. We can only squeeze an 8GB kit into the budget, but the ASRock board will have two DIMMs free for expansion. Then because we can, I think the Be Quiet System Power 800, 600 watt would be a worthwhile upgrade. The 500 watt unit in there is, I suppose, decent, but it's one of those included PSU deals and they generally tend to be a bit cheap. Plus, those non-sleeved cables are a bit ugly, am I right? Then the only last thing would be the Hydro Series H80i. I know you can buy an adapter for the AM4 socket for this cooler, and I'm not sure if that will be required or not, and this is something Samuel will have to look into. Overall, the upgrade package will dramatically reduce his encode times and enhance the gaming experience, so a win-win. Next up we have another FX6300 powered rig and this one was also built back in 2014 that was built by Kevin as a project for college to learn what makes computers tick or in Kevin's case really slow. <laughs> another hopeful gamer to get completely bulldozed then. Kevin also started with the Radeon R9 270X and 8GB of memory, along with a single 1TB hard drive. Over the years, he added a second 1TB hard drive, another 8GB DDR3 kit, and the GeForce GTX 980, which is comparable to the GTX 1060 in terms of performance. Today, the PC is used exclusively for gaming to help Kev unwind in his downtime, and well, that's exactly what a good gaming rig should be used for. The hope, though, is to enjoy games such as Battlefield 1, Rome 2, Total War, and GTA 5 with less frame jitter, as Kevin puts it. With three modules and six cores, I can only imagine how jittery the experience is with the FX6300 processor. At the risk of being a bit boring, we're once again going with the Ryzen 5 1600. Maybe in a few weeks Intel can offer an alternative for future episodes in the series. Anyway, since Kev has a really nice black and red theme going on, I suggest the ASRock AB350 Gaming K4, and this time of course we will be sticking with an 8GB DDR4 memory kit. 
With the leftover money, the biggest impact we can make is a 240 gigabyte SSD from Kingston, the UV400. The SSD alone will liven this PC right up and Kevin will be loaded into games quicker than he can say, I don't miss my old FX6300. Meet Minion. Minion, meet the upgrade my PC please audience. Don't upset them, trust me, you don't want to do that. Alright, so Minion was purchased as a pre-built system from Ironside Computers in the US. Minion is Alex's first desktop PC, and I believe it was originally purchased with gaming in mind, but Alex has since gotten heavily into music production, as well as a little video editing of gameplay footage. The system originally came with the GeForce GTX 960 2GB graphics card, but that's since been swapped out for a GTX 1060. Other than that, the system's pretty much gone untouched. What Alex is looking for in an upgrade is something that he can improve upon in the future. Obviously, the AM3 Plus platform turned out to be a dead end. His master plan right now is to get the Ryzen 3 1200 processor and stick that on the MSI B350 PC Mate with a 250GB SSD or thereabouts. Well, we can certainly make that upgrade happen with our budget, and in fact, we can probably even do a little better with the SSD and CPU. Rather than dropping the Ryzen 3 1200, let's go for the Ryzen 5 1400 for those extra threads. And as per Alex's request, let's go for the MSI B350 PC Mate motherboard with 8GB of DDR4 memory. Then capping it all off, we can probably squeeze in the crucial MX300, and we can go with the 525GB model. That is a seriously good buy right now. Now, we're heading over to New Zealand for the first time this episode to check out Mackie's AMD FX 6300 rig. Yep, another one. I wasn't lying with the title. Mackie built this system in late 2012, and I must say, you have to admire how well he's hung in there. At the time, it wasn't even a full-blown conclusion yet that the bulldozer architecture moved about as quickly as a bulldozer. As the years went by, Mackie's love for his FX processor remained strong, and he decided to treat it in 2015. All it needed was a shiny new case, so he purchased the NZXT H440. And as you can see here, it does look quite nice. The following year, the power supply was upgraded because his existing model blew up, probably the FX processor. <laughs> the Corsair RMX series 550 watt was dropped in to take care of that power hungry CPU. Then this year, Mackie's brother, who sounds like a real top bloke, brought him a shiny new RX 480 graphics card. I suspect though there might be a miner in New Zealand trying to work out who stole his RX 480. The impressive Dell U2515H monitor was purchased secondhand, and the PC is now mostly used for 3D CAD modeling and rendering, as well as content creation and photo editing. So ideally what we really need here is a CPU with more cores, and cores that are more efficient than a coal power plant. Yep, yeah, you guessed it, the Ryzen 5 1600 is the best and only sensible choice right now for such a budget, so of course we're picking it. For this build, I think the ASUS Prime B350 Plus will work well, and it'll look great in the NZXT N440. Unfortunately, with pricing the way it is in New Zealand at the moment, we can't afford any more memory or perhaps a bigger SSD. Still, the upgrade from the FX6300 to the Ryzen 5 1600 is significant enough as it is, and it will provide Mackie with an awesome platform to work with. Last but not least, we have the Death Star, and if we're lucky with the help of the Force, we can fire two Proton torpedoes into the AM3 Plus socket and end it. Gabriel built the system about a year ago, he says, and I've really got no idea what his excuse is. If he'd been following the channel or reading the content over on TechSpot, we could have saved him a lot of heartache. Anyway, Gabriel says it was meant to be more of a workstation slash mid-range gaming PC, but today it's really just no longer cutting it. Games such as Battlefront, Skyrim, and Battlefield 4, they play okay, he says, but more modern titles are really becoming an issue. The FX6300 and GTX 1050 Ti combo is really going to struggle at 1080p with modern games, so we really do have to focus the budget on getting a new CPU as well as a GPU. Ideally, I would have liked to upgrade the RAID Max power supply, but that'll just have to do for now. Thankfully, the upgraded PC probably will draw less power than what the FX system's using currently. Gabriel already has an SSD, so we can leave the storage alone. 
So I propose we opt for the Ryzen 5 1400 on the ASRock AB350 Pro 4 with 8GB of DDR4 memory. Then to really improve the gaming experience, we'll ditch the GTX 750 Ti in favor of the GTX 1050 Ti. And that right there is a big step up indeed. The 1050 Ti is capable of tackling all the latest titles at 1080p using reasonably good quality settings. So Gabriel won't know himself. All right, guys, there are five power-hungry FX 6300 PCs, all in need of various upgrades. It's now your job to let us know which one you think is most deserving of receiving the proposed upgrade package. To cast your vote, please follow the link in the video description. That'll head you over to the TechSpot forums. Remember, you have to register, but you do go in the running to win some cool prizes. Those prizes will be given away globally so anyone can sign up, vote, and have a chance to win something cool each week. Speaking of which, the winner of last week's episode was JK Willie. Congratulations, mate. You have an awesome Ryzen 5 1500X processor from AMD coming your way. Big thank you to AMD for providing that amazing prize. And remember, guys, vote, comment each week. We will have more awesome prizes to give away. Finally, voting will be open till Friday night in the US, and that's Saturday afternoon here in Australia. Then I'll be announcing the winner of this episode at the start of next week's episode, at which point we'll have another five PCs to check out, and we'll do it all over again. I'm your host, Steve. Go get voting, guys.